Some Columbus residents say that they are frustrated by the mounting piles of recycling and yard waste lining the streets of their neighborhoods. Jennifer Bullock addresses their trash troubles in tonight's Better Call 4. A Bexley woman tells me it's been weeks since crews picked up the yard waste and recycling in her neighborhood. And the longer it sits, the more of a nuisance it becomes. I took her frustrations to the city of Columbus to figure out what's going on and how soon the issue could be fixed. Shauna McGreevy's lived in her Bexley home for 20 years, but for the first time in March, noticed her yard waste and recycling weren't being picked up every other Monday as scheduled. Well, I noticed it with the yard waste first. They would miss the yard waste, and I would call the city of Columbus the 311 line. And each time, Shauna says, she was told that the city's yard waste contractor, Rumkey Waste Management, would be out to pick it up. But that didn't happen. I would call back again in one two week span. I called four times and the yard waste and recycling continued to pile up. The longest it sat, Shauna says, was for more than five weeks from the end of March until I spoke with her on May 5th when an unscheduled pickup happened. They're not just missing me and that's what I keep telling the, the city 311 line. It's not just me. It's our entire street. You have it sitting out there and if they don't pick it up, it gets rained on, it blows all over the neighborhood. And Shauna says storing it inside isn't an option with these long wait times. It, it builds up in your house, <laughs> you know. I, I can only store so much yard waste and so much um, recycling in my garage until the day. So I need them to really honor their contract. That's what I need. I reached out to the city of Columbus about the service delays. In a statement, the Department of Public Service tells me Rumpke is working diligently to clear the residential yard waste backlog, adding that Rumpke continues efforts to hire more workers and extend collection service hours. Crews are working into the evenings and on weekends to clear the backlog and be caught up soon. I also reached out to Rumkey, who responded with a statement that says in part with extra yard waste, spring cleaning and more people continuing to work from home. The amount of residential waste being placed curbside remains at record highs in some areas, meaning collection takes longer and requires more team members. In response, Rumkey teams are working extra hours and Rumkey is bringing in assistance from other service areas. Now to see Rumkey's full statement, as well as what the company is doing to clear the backlog, check out this story on NBC4i.com.